Hey Basta, it's the home stretch, and we've almost made it to spring break. Before the holiday starts, Duco wanted to put on a fun pageant for our clubs and sports to compete in. The auditorium is finally finished. Let's see what challenges jazz band face due to this. Plus, we see how all the spring sports are kicking off their season in the Grizzly Grind. Check out all this and more in the BBM. Today is the day that our favorite mustache wearing character is celebrated. Yep, that's right. Today is National Mario Day. And in order to celebrate our favorite Italian plumber, we want to try some sashes ourselves. I think I pull off this mustache pretty well. Better than Mario even. Well, I don't think anyone can pull out better than Mario. But on the other hand, let's see what Patrick had to say in Zuko's stuff about the Mr. BHS pattern. Hey Basha, Patrick Green here. Wednesday we had our annual Mr. BHS pageant. And here's a quick recap on what happened. We had our spring sports assembly last Friday. Take a look. have our first ever Clash Wars right after spring break on April 5th. It's against Castile, Perry, Chandler, and ACP, and it's seniors only. Tickets are currently being sold in the bookstore. We don't have any more events until after spring break, so I won't see you until the fourth quarter. But until then, have a good day. Stay classy, Bachelor High. I know that it's the last day until spring break, but even with that, we still have many things that are happening around campus. Victor has all the details and what's the word. Hey everybody, my name is Victor Moreno, back again with What's the Word. Here at Basha, we make sure to honor our teachers as well as our students. Our computer science teacher, Ms. Tamboli, won an award for diversity in computer science. The 2022 AP Computer Science Female Diversity Award honors her work in engaging more female students in the field. So the award is called Female Diversity Award. I got it from College Board, and I guess the College Board noticed that at Basha High, uh, we increased the number of women in our computer science courses dramatically in the last two years. So I'm, I'm very proud for getting the award and also very humble. I'm so proud of my students who try hard every day to get uh, where we are today. Um, and thank College Board for bringing in more female um, entrepreneurs or people in the industry, introducing them, they get to see the role models and learn from them. And I think all these efforts are going to help for increasing the diversity in the field. And another congratulations goes out to our Basha KDC. They got adjudicated at the Arizona Dance Education Organization Festival and performed extremely well. They received two superior ratings and one distinction rating. Distinction is the highest rating you can receive. Congratulations on a great performance. Last week, Tom told us about his experience at the Innovation Fair. Basha received other honors there. High schoolers Grace Sear and Garju Tamboli, and AMS students Aurash Chauhan, Athar Vakari, Vignesh Vakacharla, Jack Collister, and Cody Midton received medals at the fair. Also, Basha Sciences Fund received an award as well. Very impressive. While it may be March already, we still want to give a special spotlight to our BSU Black History Month door decorating contest. Here's BSU with more. Hi, I'm Kaylani, president of Black Student Union, and today I'm gonna to be talking about the door decorating contest that we held last week. This year's annual theme was resistance, so we chose music as a way to showcase that theme. We asked that the doors were neatly decorated, visually appealing, and have original concept to promote the culture and the theme. The winner of this year's door decorating contest was Ms. Burgess' fifth hour. We want to thank all of the teachers and students that participated in the door decorating contest. 
And congrats to our Basha Winter Guard for placing third in the recent competition with their highest score this season, 74.4. And percussion on the recent performance that placed them the highest school of all scholastic groups in the competition of 79.9. On Tuesday, Basha Theatre Company performed their student-directed shorts. The show featured one-act plays directed by Davina Chen, Kendall Paul, and Hannah Redman. Clara Newen also performed her Shakespearean monologue and sonnet that she will be competing with at the National ESU Shakespeare Monologue Competition in New York. And that is all I have for you guys on this episode of What's the Word? I'm Victor Moreno and we'll see you guys after break. Wow, Victor really rocks that mustache. Yeah, and speaking of people who rock, Decca did incredibly well at the state competition. One of the members is taking on a bigger role. Let's see what's up in Decca details. Last weekend, Basha's very own DECA team competed against other schools at the DECA State Competition. DECA works to understand commerce and competes in marketing categories such as entrepreneurship, role play prep, advertising, and many more. DECA is an international organization that revolves around marketing, finance, hospitality, tourism, management, and it's just a really great organization where we get to compete and we have attended our state conference just recently last week, and then some people qualified to go to internationals, which is going to be in Orlando, Florida this year. What I like most about DECA is meeting new people and how I can interact with others and make new connections. So in the DECA team, we're all friends around here. It's not like we're competitive with each other. We all try and support each other, and we all try to help each other achieve the best possible scores in our competitions. There's so many different categories in DECA. There's role plays, ring events, and online testing. This year, I competed in business services in individual, and I did get first place at state, which is amazing. We do also have other qualifiers for ICDC. Neha, Varad, and Aubrey all qualified, so us four are gonna go to ICDC. Basha Decca did fantastic and won in several categories. And congratulations to Shreya Ganesh, who earned the position of state officer. They will go on to compete at the DECA National Competition. Wish them luck. So we have to come up with a slogan for our state officer candidacy. So I actually ran to be a state officer last year as a sophomore, but unfortunately I didn't get elected. So I ran this year with the slogan, come back stronger, do with honor, since I'm coming back stronger for a second time. And I did get elected. So a state officer organizes all the meetings in Arizona DECA and we arrive at the conferences ahead of time, we attend trainings, and so over March we do have a training workshop for all of us nine officers and then we bond with each other and then we our first event we go together is ICDC and after that is Camp DECA next year. When the auditorium was closed, the jazz band often had to find some pretty unique places to play. See how they push through this challenge together. Hey Bears, I'm going to tell you all about JV and Varsity Jazz's huge performances from last week. Each year, Basha bands participate in jazz festivals where they get critiqued and rated based off of their performance. The actual songs that they play usually end up being some of the songs that they also played at their concerts. But since the auditorium was under construction for quite some time, they had to get creative as to how they would perform. Dr. Clark Gibson, the Director of Education at the Nash, gave Basha the opportunity to play at an authentic jazz club where many jazz rates played, some such as Lewis Nash and Roy Hardgrove. And it's just great to have them here where all these really famous jazz musicians have played over the years and uh, to be on that, it's great to have them on that same stage. Overall, being able to play at an authentic jazz club was a great opportunity for Bash's jazz bands just as an experience that also allowed them to improve. Thank you for listening. Go. With our spring sports kicking off their seasons, we have a great deal of information to cover. Skylar's got it all straightened out for us in the Grizzly Grind. Hey everybody, I'm Skylar Meister for the Grizzly Grind. Here are your scores and highlights for this week. Saturday, the baseball team played against the Gila Ridge Hawks. At the bottom of the second inning, junior Gavin Smith gets two RBI singles, putting Basha up 6-0. Shout out to senior Lucas Brichet, who had a complete game shutout, only allowing one hit. Basha cruises to victory with a score 11-0. On Tuesday, they were back in action against the Corona Aztecs. With no score going to the top of the sixth, with senior Alex Dabrowski on second, senior Nathan Nichols to shallow left field, gets past the left fielder. Dabrowski scores 1-0, Basha. Next up, with a man on second and third, junior Max Madrid just over the head of the pitcher, intro center field, 
scoring two, giving Basha a 3-0 lead. Moving to the top of the seventh, Gavin Smith looping it to the shallow left center for two RBIs. The Aztecs would score four runs in the bottom of the seventh, but the Bears would hold on to the win 5-4. You can see them back in action tonight, right here at Basha starting at 345. Girls softball also played against the Gila Ridge Hawks and dominated. Shout out to sophomore Mialani Ocampo for three hits and four RBIs. The game finished with a score of 16-1. On Tuesday, they also played against the Corona del Sol Aztecs. They won 3-1. They play again tonight at Westwood High School against the Warriors. Good luck, girls. The boys' volleyball team played against the Highland Hawks, facing the number two in the state. It was a tough one. The final score was 3-0. They play again in the Cougar Valley Invitational this weekend. Good luck, boys. On Monday, the beach volleyball team played against the Desert Mountain Wolves. Junior Macy Camacho makes the pass off the serve. Senior Rhea Workman passes it back to Camacho for the kill. Workman digs the ball, Camacho running in for the set, and Workman makes the kill. The final score was 5-0. Our girls flag football team started their season off against the Desert Vista Thunder on Tuesday. It was a tough battle, but the Thunder held strong. The final score was 19-18. Last Friday, track and field competed in the South Mountain Metro Relays. And they crushed it, with girls taking first and boys taking second. Jocelyn Phillips got first in women's pole vault, and Maddox Davis got first in the men's varsity 100 meters. A great start to the track season. The girls tennis team played the Highland Hawks on Tuesday and won 9-0. Shout out to freshman Grace Beckler on the girls basketball team. She was selected for first team of all CUSD and second team for the Premier All Region. And to Mariah Oliver for her honorable mentions honor for the all CUSD and Premier Region. Congrats to Mason McGee on the boys basketball team. He was selected for first team of all CUSD and first team of Premier All Region. Also to Christian Warren, he was also selected for first team all CUSD and first team Premier All Region. And to Torin Bosch, who was selected for first team of Premier All Region and Defensive Player of the Year in the Chandler Unified School District. That's all for this week. I'm Skylar Meister for the Grizzly Grind. We hope you got a chuckle out of our mustaches. Along with that, we hope you guys have a wonderful break and we'll see you right back here when we come back. I also want to give a huge shout out to everyone in Multimedia and Film who helps put together every single episode for you guys. Thank you guys for everything you do. We'll see you in fourth quarter, Bears. Bye!